chassis and all the chassis bits have been painted and are ready to get put on. Chassis is ready to get completed. There we go with that. Chassis itself, I painted with Mr. Hobby, Mr. Surfacer Black. Uh, the transmission, uh, metalizer, uh, aluminium, brush painted, and brush painted the uh, oil pan with Mr. Well, with, to me, uh, just basic black. Uh, the rest of the bits, suspension bits, semi gloss black for everything else, for the most part, I believe. Uh, the exhaust pipe. Uh, metalizer steel and metalizer burnt metal. The instruction said to use burnt iron and um, and uh, silver and steel. I just decided just to use the two. Uh, this piece I actually have to repaint. It is not the right color. I need to paint. It needs to be painted burnt iron as well. So I'll paint it probably burnt metal <laughs> to match the other rest of the exhaust piping or something. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. But everything else is ready to go on and get attached to the chassis plates, so let's get to it. chassis is pretty much completed and those rear shocks are a, are a bitch to get in there a pain I don't remember having that much trouble with the rear shocks like uh, on the um, race version anyways shocks are in for now chassis is somewhat completed for the most part you just gotta add this pipe and the brakes and it'll be completed I'm going to go get this part repainted and get it attached and then I'll get the brakes attached and move on to the interior. As you can see the body has been painted. Overall looks pretty good. Nothing, uh, no real uh, issues I need to worry about. Nothing to address. It came out pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I think I'm happy with the color choice I made. I think it fits this, this body style, this era pretty good. I do need to do some wet sanding on the body. Uh, I had the uh, PSI set a little bit too high, so it's kind of coarse. So it'll definitely get a, a uh, secondary coat, just mainly because one, I'm probably going to burn through, and two, I forgot to paint the spoiler, so I need to get it painted. So I might as well just, you know, I'll do a second coat and get the spoiler painted at the same time. But overall, the body looks good. I'm happy. Making progress there. Also making progress on the rest of the kit as well. Uh, Got the uh, uh, interior bucket painted. I painted it uh, Mr. Surface of Black. 
before I had painted the rest of the parts, so I wasn't really sure exactly where I was going to go. So it's not going to match because I painted the dashboard and the uh, interior side panels uh, NATO black. I think NATO black is a very underused, uh, underrated color. It's perfect for interiors. And so those were painted. So, so I don't know. I may go back and paint the. Uh, probably going to have to paint it. Um, Nato black too. I don't know. We'll see. Yes, yeah, I just used uh, to me as Nato black out of the jars. Thinned it with Mr. Thinner. Air brushed it on. Uh, happy with that. Yeah, we'll see the rest of the pieces are there. Uh, one thing you're not seeing are the seats. Um, they call for a very very light gray. I don't have any really really light gray on hand. It's. I have learned in building models you are never going to have the shade of gray on hand that you need. Because there's so many damn shades of gray, and I don't have that. It's, it called for a very some reference pictures showed that it was, the seats were painted a very very light gray, and I had like a medium like more like a mediumish gray was the lightest gray I have. So I'm, they're painted, but I'm not sure if I like them. So I'm gonna look and see if maybe some of the Mr. Uh, Hobby primers might be light enough. I'm gonna do some spoon tests and see. Maybe I'll do that. If not, I'll just leave it like it is and move on. I don't know yet. The wheels uh, painted um, metalizer aluminium. I'm not sure what I'm going to do if I'm going to dull coat these wheels or do a flat clear on them because the real one, the real, the real, the real one one wheels kind of look more dullish than that. So I'm going to need to do some more research on the wheels and see if maybe I do need to dull this down just a little bit. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the wheels. They look good. And the brakes. The brake rotors just um, painted them uh, burnt metal. They're not going to really be seen, so didn't really care too much about it. I just wanted to get some color on the wheels. So that is where I'm at right now with this stuff. Progress is slow. Progress is coming. Getting there. So as you can see, the interior for the R31 is completed. Got it wrapped up a day or so ago. I think it turned out okay, but if I'm honest, I think it could could have been just a little bit better. As you can see, you know, there's the gap in the seats there and what have you. Could you know, if I was a good model, I would have filled those in and what have you. But you know, I'm just kind of lazy and just whatever. So anyways, the interior, there it is on the R31. The stock interior, I guess you call it. I did end up using uh, Mr. Uh, Surfacer 1000 on the uh, seats. It was the right shade of, or the close shade of light gray that I wanted to use that I didn't have in paint form on hand. Because I've learned that, at least for me anyways, I will never have the correct shade of gray on hand that I want to use for a project. It just will never, ever happen. Now, unfortunately, with uh, like Tamiya, Tamiya's primer, Mr. Surfacer primer, they both kind of have a sheen to them. I would say kind of like... Uh, satin finish maybe if you will but just a little bit of a sheen so i used uh, to me a clear or flat clear to kind of knock that sheen down a little bit and it did help a little bit i think i actually should have used a tester's dull coat i really really like a uh, dull coat um i think it actually uh is flatter than like say to me is flat clear but unfortunately i'm just almost my can is almost empty i didn't really feel like running out and grabbing a can right that moment so i went ahead and just used a flat clear I think there's still a little bit of a shine to it, but not much. But once it's in the body and it's all finished, it's just, you're never really going to notice. I don't think, nobody's going to notice. The dust won't care. So, the interior is finished. Now I'm just waiting to get the body clear-coated so I can get this project on the track to getting completed. I'm working on a Mercedes that you'll see in another video, probably after, after this one. And so once I get that ready for clear coat, I'm going to get them both clear coated at the same time. It's just the Mercedes I'm working on needs to just, I'm going to do one more coat of paint and then it'll be ready for clear. So that's what, or that is where I'm currently at with this R31 build.